Dear student friends, welcome to the problem solving session of method of variation of parameters part 2. Those who don't watch the videos, go to the playlist, watch the variation of parameter, basics, procedures, then part 1 video and come back here. So in the part 1 video, we are solving the problem on d square plus a square into y is equal to secant ax and then we solved another problem in the same family cosecant ax. In this session, we are going to solve little more like we are going to solve the problems on tan family tan and cot ax let us go into the problem solve d square plus a square into y is equal to tan ax so since the left hand side is d square plus a square into y the procedure going to be the same step 1 step 2 up to step 3 beginning it is going to be the same only my rhs is changing so step 1 we have to find the complementary function for this I'll make right hand side 0 and my auxiliary equation is m square plus a square equal to 0. m is equal to plus or minus ia. We know that the complementary function for the imaginary roots are alpha plus or minus i beta. So my cf in general is e power alpha x a into cos beta x plus b into sin beta x. Here m is equal to 0 plus or minus ia. So e power 0 will become 1. Therefore my cf is going to be simply a into cos here we have value a cos ax b into sin ax you can see the typed version now it is done at the end of step 1 i want y1 and y2 now we found my y1 is going to be cos ax y2 is going to be sin ax step 2 wrong skein to find the wrong skein we need y1 y2 and also we need the derivative of y1 that is y1 dash that is nothing but minus a sin ax y2 dash is a into cos ax now the formula for wrong skein just use the left hand side and in the next determinant use the right hand side you will be getting w immediately expanding the determinant we will get a into cos square ax plus a into sin square ax i will take a outside it will become w equal to a step 2 gets over we found my wrong skein is w equal to a step 3 before solving pi we have to collect all the information which is needed for pi y1 is cos ax y2 is sin ax we get this from step 1 w equal to a we get this from step 2 r is equal to tan ax we get this from the question rhs right hand side of the question we know the formula u and v now just we have to think r is tan ax so tan is nothing but sin by cos ax if i multiply this with y1 then cos cos get cancel i can finish the integration very simple now let us see which involves both y1 and r we see that v is involving both y1 and r so let us find v first substitute the value of v so cos ax into tan ax by a tan ax can be written as sin by cos now cos cos get cancelled we have 1 by a integration of sin ax dx we know the integration of sin ax is minus cos ax divided by a there is 1 by a outside multiplying this we will be getting minus 1 by a square into cos ax that is my final answer v next u is not tough we have to find u carefully maybe it involves one or more step compared to v so my u is minus integral y to r divided by w dx i said the int in the beginning of the problem in video one whenever the integration comes try to convert into sine cos so now i converted this into sine by cos so sine into sine sine square minus 1 by a sine square ax divided by cos ax dx now we cannot touch the denominator but it is easy to modify the numerator see the numerator is sin square ax i convert this numerator in terms of denominator 1 minus cos square ax yeah you know this very famous trigonometric formula cos square theta plus sin square theta equal to 1 now simplifying this 1 divided by cos ax will become secant ax cos square by cos will become cos so we discussed the basic formulas in integration which involve in this problem we discussed what is integral secant ax my integral secant ax is going to be 1 by a log secant ax plus tan ax and cos ax integration is sin ax by a now multiplying this minus 1 by a will be getting minus 1 by a square 
log sec na x plus tan a x minus into minus plus so plus sin a x by a square. Now we found our u as well as our v. Substitute this in pi. Pi is nothing but u y1 plus v y2. Now we can see this, this term as cos a x sin a x into minus 1 by a square. When you multiply this inside, I can found cos a x into sin a x divided by a square. So, this and this will get cancelled. Only the remaining terms can be written. Only the first terms remain. So, when I multiply this with cos, I am writing minus cos a x by a square into this term log secant a x plus tan a x. Now, finally, we have to write the general solution C f plus P i. A y 1, B y 2, U y 1 plus U V y 2. As usual, the same story guys. Suppose your exams, you are getting d square plus 16 into y is equal to tan 4 x. Never do the mistake by solving with the number 4. Just say, let us assume the general form d square plus a square into y is equal to tan a x. Then solve the problem, get this final answer. From this, put a equal to 4, you will get the original answer for your question. That is the idea. So, just keep in mind, whatever the number comes, solve for the general term d square plus a square into y is equal to tan a x or secant a x or cosecant a x or cot a x and then substitute the specific a value which is given in the question. This will be easy for you and it will save lot of time and it is error free. Okay, let us go into the next problem, the partner of tan AX. Next one is cot AX. So, the steps are going to be the same. I will skip step 1, step 2 as well as step 3. So, in step 3, Y1 is going to be the same, Y2 and W. But my RHS is going to be changed to as cot AX, U and V. Now, in the previous problem, I said my R is tan AX, we write sin by cos. Here, my R is cot AX, I write cos AX by sin AX. Now, we have to check this r as cos by sin. If I multiply with y2, my sin sin will get cancelled. I can easily integrate cos ax. That means u is going to be the easiest content for this problem because I can easily find u. Let us take u first. Substitute the values. Sin sin get cancelled. Integral cos ax is sin ax by a. We have minus 1 by a outside. Multiplying this, we will be getting minus 1 by a square sin ax. Because cos ax integration is 1 by a sin ax. Now, if I multiply with minus 1 by a, I will get my u. Now, let us go into the second part, v. Substitute the value of y1, r, w, etc. We will be getting cos ax into cot ax. The hint which I gave in the previous problem as well as part 1 video. Convert the problem into simply sin cos. Now, cos into cos is cos square ax. And we cannot solve this problem in this form. So, we know that cos square ax is nothing but 1 minus sin square ax. If we substitute this, now dividing with sin, 1 by sin is cosecant sin square by sin is sin. And we know the formula integration of cosecant ax is 1 by a log cosecant ax minus cot ax. And then sin ax integration is minus cos ax by a. Now there is one minus. So minus into minus, it will become plus. Now multiplying this 1 by a inside, we will be getting 1 by a square log cosecant ax minus cot ax plus cos ax by a square. So, we found both u and v. Now, it is time to substitute in pi. pi is u y1 plus v y2. Now, we can see this, the first term as minus 1 by a square sin ax cos ax. The second term as sin ax into two different terms. Now, considering this term alone, we will be getting cos ax sin ax by a square. Here we have minus. So, this both terms will get cancelled. And now, when you multiply sin ax with this, this will be the remaining term. So, we will be getting sin ax by a square into log cosecant ax minus cot ax. We got our pi. Substitute the pi in the general solution. That is y equal to cf plus pi. Your answer is a cos ax b sin ax plus sin ax by a square into log cosecant ax minus cot ax. Hence the problem. The same story I am telling. If they give d square plus 4 into y equal to cot 2x, 
let us assume the general term d square plus a square into y is equal to cot ax. Solve for this, get this final answer and at the end say a equal to 2 or put a equal to 2 because the given question is cot 2x. Then you can get the answer immediately, error free. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel. Share to your friends. We can see you next video.